quickly want to run through some of the tabs on the menu bar, which I think you'll find useful when you first start off. You'll use them all at some point, but let's quickly run through them. File, well, obviously you'll need that because you want to open a new one or an image, save it. Edit, well, that's where the undo bit is, and if you're anything like me, you will be undoing quite a bit. And of course, copy and paste. Select, numerous ways to select, and these are just some of the ways that you can select parts of an image. The layers um, tab, well, in my opinion, layers are what makes this program and Photoshop so flexible. So you will be using layers and going into more detail later on. The colours, well, this is where, where you will, when you have an image, um, want to change the brightness or the uh, contrast. For example, in an image I've got here, I would be looking at bringing the lightness up in this. It's too dark. So, filters, well, this is the, the fun bit. Once you've got your head around uh, some of the basic tools and, you know, you're beginning to create some uh, shapes, etc. This is where you'll come and have a bit of fun. Um, well, I'm sure we're all like that. Yes, there's some nice stuff in there. There's another couple of things I want to show you, which I think are really good. Let's show you on this uh, image. This image is at 25%. If you press number one, figure one, on your keyboard, that now immediately goes up to 100%. But of course, you can't see all the image. Um, yes, you can make it a bit bigger, but depending on the size of your screen. And this is where this little button down here comes in handy. It's the to, uh, navigation button to do, have a look at the image display. And if you click on that, uh, what you can do is, holding your mouse down, you can move all the way around the image. Uh, that's extremely useful. But for me, one of the great finds is this little arrow up here. If you click on it and see this blue line here, it's a tear off. Um, not seen this at all before on any other program. And if you click and say on file um, and you want to use, you know, let's go for, well, filters. Um, it's the tear off is on all of them but filters if you're playing around and playing around with the filters if you come into here and tear it off click that's it what happens then you've got a basically a floating tab and if you're looking at oh i don't know artistic the same applies there click and drag it you can float that. What it means is, let's just close them down. What it means is you don't have to keep going up to there, down to artistic, down to whichever and, and going through. You've got them there on the screen if you want. I like that one. It, it really does save some time. We're next going to go and look at the toolbox.